light is an electromagnetic wave. If you place a charge at some location, then it will emit electric field lines that move away from it at the speed of light. If you bump the charge, then a kink in the electric field lines will move outward at the speed of light. If you wiggle the electric charge with frequency F, then the electromagnetic wave will also wiggle with frequency F. At any location, a field line points back to the location where the charge had been at the moment that the electric field line began moving outward. At any point, the electric field is oscillating sinusoidally in time. The red color shows a traveling electric wave. As this electric field is changing in time, it generates a changing magnetic field, which is shown in blue and in turn the changing magnetic field generates a changing electric field. The electromagnetic wave is self-propagating. If the electric field oscillates at 400 terahertz, then the red cones in your eyes will detect this light and your brain says red light is present. If the field oscillates at 600 terahertz, then the blue cones in your eyes will detect this and your brain will say blue light is present. The cones in our eyes see either red or green or blue light. When we see equal mixtures of all three, then our brain says white light, even though there is no such thing as a wavelength that corresponds to white light. At this radio station, the voltage between the top and bottom of the antenna is made to alternate at 98.7 MHz, and in turn, this makes the electrons oscillate at 98.7 megahertz in the antenna at the home in the top of the hill. Light from the sun hits the top of this object and then bounces in every direction there is. One piece of light happens to travel straight through the window of this building. This is that exterior object, and this is a circular window in the wall of the home. And this is the wall at the back of the inside of the home. A piece of sunlight that happens to bounce off the top of the object passes through the center of the window and hits the lower portion of the interior wall. A ray of light from the sun that happens to bounce off the lower part of the object passes through the center of the window and hits the upper portion of the interior wall. On the interior wall, we see an upside down image of the exterior object. The same thing happens as an inverted image lands at the back of your eye. The window is replaced with your pupil. The pupil is not a thing, it's just the opening in your eye that lends in light. The pupil is there to select light only from the forward direction from the direction in which you're looking. If the pupil weren't there, the back of your eye would receive light from all directions at once. Our visual system does a lot of processing, as demonstrated by placing a tube in front of your open eye and blocking your other eye with your hand. The sight through the tube is made visible in the center of your hand. Our visual system is also easily confused as demonstrated by the countless optical illusions. The brain of the newborn quickly figures out that if it provides an extra flip to the inverted image that lands at the back of the eye, then the world makes more sense, and it will reach his or her hands in the correct direction. Convex lenses can make the world upside down. One scientist wore two such lenses in front of his eyes seeing the world upside down for some weeks until his brain figured out to provide an extra flip to make the world right side up again. After wearing the glasses for some additional weeks, when he finally removed the glasses, it took his brain a few more weeks to re-flip the world once again. Here's a view from inside the classroom, looking out the windows. 
We block the windows, leaving just this one square hole in which we'll put a lens. The lens has a 4 meter focal length. It will focus distant objects from outside onto this viewing screen that is placed 4 meters away from the hole. Here's a view looking through the square hole toward the outside. And here is the screen on the inside. When we turn out the lights, we see on the screen that there is an inverted image of the traffic from the outside.